Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Boo Crew Case Files. I'm Bree Schroeder, along with my co-host, Charles Johnson. Good to see you, Charles. How are you doing? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, oh we, we misread that. Sorry. I'm Bree. You're Charles. That's right. I knew something was wrong there. Yeah, I think we're a little amped up because of where we're at. Charles, this is something you've put together. Thank you again, my friend. Oh, you're, you're very welcome. I'm, I'm very excited about being here. Uh, can you tell us where we are, please? So we are at the Mont Montvale Hotel in Spokane, Washington. Do you have uh, any history that you can share? Yeah, I got a little bit of uh, knowledge here. Uh, a Judge John Binkley built the Montville Block in 1899. The Montville Block was as a single resident occupancy hotel, which meant that much like a hotel, each tenant had their own room as a measure of privacy. The single resident occupancy, or SRO system, was a common form for, of living for the many working class laborers in Spokane. The rent for these rooms was between one and two dollars a day, or five dollars per week at the turn of the 20th century. Originally, the Montville housed 20 or 30 tenants on the second floor and 30 tenants on the third floor. The Montville is the oldest standing hotel in Spokane today. That's just crazy. I know it. You can imagine that. Um, all the history that's gone on in here. And when I checked in, uh, I asked if there had been any uh, famous people that stayed here. And I think he said it was Mrs. Roosevelt uh, oh. that had stayed here one, one night. So wow. that's pretty cool. That is really cool. I did do some research and we did of course find that it was the SRO Hotel uh, back in 1899 when it was constructed. There's rumors that this place was a brothel as mm -hmm. well. Um, and then in, in the 70s, when there was the expo in 1974 here in Spokane, uh, youths used to stay here in the hotel. We're directly across the street from the, I want to say notorious, but legendary Fox and Theater. If, if you know anything about Spokane's haunted history, the Fox Theater always pops up on, on the list. Yeah. It's, it's got a lot of ghost history behind it. You know, and, and just a stone throw is the Bing Crosby Theater, right. or the Met as it once was, uh, which I used to in radio work the soundboard for the symphony there um, in different concerts. And I can tell you, I had my own experiences when I was younger that I thought I was just going cuckoo <laughs> and later found out from Chet Kasky mm -hmm. that those are the actual legends and stories. And I thought, okay, so how, I wasn't. How exciting. Yeah. And we can't, we can't uh, be talking about haunted places this close together and not mention the Davenport. And the Davenport, yeah. I mean, hands Isn't down. Isn't that interesting that all these areas are, are, all these buildings are so close together. It is. But, I mean, Spokane, uh, obviously we've talked about the Great Fire of Spokane mm -hmm. and just the reconstruction. I do have one thing up my sleeve that I did want to share with you. Oh, no. I know. Watch out. <laughs> so with the hotel here, there was the Odd Fellows Temple built on the same block, stone throw away, right down here in 1909. So, if I remember that right, that's just uh, another form or version of something like the Freemasons, right? Yeah. A that, secret organization. That fraternal club, yeah. And uh, they, um, if you start doing a little research, they're very secretive in their own right, and a lot of speculation's gone on. And I know Chet, he said the original um, Oddfellows Temple and I assume it's the same one, is haunted. So that's pretty interesting. So we're going to have to see if we can get it in on that. But one thing I do want to mention is that I did some research and found there's an Oddfellow Cemetery in the Seattle area. So we might have to do a road trip. Oh, that would be great. Take but, this Boo Crew case files on the road. Yes. I mean, I've, I've done a couple of recordings over there, so we, we should go I, back. I think, I think that'd be a great yeah. uh, idea. So... One cool thing that we did this time for this episode, Charles, is we brought in our friend Jane from ghost411.net. But we had Jane join us down here and do a quick walkthrough. So let's take a little listen to see what Jane shared with us here before we dive into an episode and see what we can communicate with. 
So I have no idea of the history. Okay. okay. Um, but um, yeah, I'm, I'm already picked up a couple of things other than the other than the mail. Yeah, there's yeah. And that was uh, in you were thinking in, in around here. the 80s. Pardon? You were thinking from the clothing, possibly around the 80s. The kid, yeah. Okay. Yeah, these the, the other two that I have seen are not. I mean, they they are definitely dated. Okay. I think they get a lot of activity on the stairs, if that matters to you. But so I don't know if you, in the middle of the night, kind of wander. Right. I know Kika used to do a lot of that, kind of all over the place. Elevator is also a possibility that you may catch Sorry. something. Okay, so I'll just talk so I can get it out of my system. Yeah, go for it. So I know there's a prostitute here. Okay. She's got blonde hair, light hair, kind of ringlets. Bangs are kind of. Um, I mean, she has bangs, kind okay. of puffy bangs, no glasses. She's um, wearing a, a white kind of tank toppy kind of camisole okay. like they used to back in the old days. Okay. Um, she's wearing those white bloomer kind of. White bloomers? Not bloomers, but what they used to, like, yeah. un like underclothes. Underclothes, okay. She's got on black stockings and black shoes. Can you, Time. Do you get any kind of name or begins with It begins an with an S. S. Um, Sally, Sadie, something. Time period? 1800s, okay. early 1900s, maybe. She was, I mean, I got a real strong feeling of being choked. Okay. Um, so she was strangled. She probably is in her 20s, maybe early 30s at the most. I think she had a child. Oh, okay. Just makes me want to cry. The agony is kind of what I feel from her. She died on a bed. Okay. She was strangled by someone, and she had a small son. Okay. And I kept getting the name, like, um, I want to say, like, Bobby or um, Billy or something like that. But then I clearly heard the name Robert. So my feeling was it's probably Bobby. Bobby. So she had a young son, uh, maybe seven or eight. Okay. Um, but she was definitely a prostitute. My feeling is maybe she was killed in the hotel. Okay. That's my feeling. Okay, so I got that one out of the way. Yeah. Might come across her. So I also get a really, this. there's a man yeah. here, okay? This, this guy has um, brown hair, um, if he, dark hair. If he has facial hair, it's very light um, or very minuscule. No glasses, he's like a smaller man, average build. And I'm telling you, I get a, um, a Dillinger type of feel from him. So mob or gangster, does that make sense? Yeah. Um, very strong in this hotel. So I don't know, and then I kept thinking, why would I get the name Dillinger? And then I kept thinking, I don't know if he's associated with Spokane at all. I don't have any idea, but I mean, I heard it really clearly. And so my first thought was Dillinger type. Sure, I mob mean, relation. Yeah, I got it. So, either, so that kind of a person, and then I thought, well, I don't know, could it be? I don't know, so yeah. maybe something to research, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know where he was at. You know, I mean, if we thought about Billy the Kid, I would think about the Midwest, you right. know. I would not think about up here, and I'd have no idea about this guy. I would think New York or someplace. Mm -hmm. So, might be. I don't know. So, anyway. There, I got that out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I just had to stop. Um, get that out of my system, because all of that I was picking up, and I had not even seen the hotel yet. May I ask any other follow-ups to that, as mm -hmm. far as the male uh, age at all? Uh, not really. Um, I'm terrible with ages. Maybe in his 50s, maybe. Okay. Maybe 40s, 50s. I don't know. Could even be 60s. He has dark hair. Okay. So that would tell me that he was um, young enough to not be great. Okay. And that makes sense. Is I can it, understand you. Yeah. yeah. So that's, that's my only... Um, so um, I did not really pick up a name. Um, Any specific area that you... See, that's the problem. Okay. I don't that's know. That's fine. I don't know. But I will tell you that a lot of times when I clear, mm -hmm. or I'm doing readings on, uh, distance readings on homes, which I do all the time. Sure. Kiki is always sending me pictures and somebody's contacted her for a distance read. The minute, I'm telling you, the minute I am reading, they are there. Okay. They, they are able to just bypass, you know, any boundaries and just somehow energetically know where to go. Okay. My and feeling is it doesn't matter. Sure, sure. That makes sense. And so... The woman and he, uh, or the gentleman, you picked up on them prior to arriving here. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, and also the kid, which was you the, know the Bobby Robert yeah, Billy. Was, well, the, the, that not that one, oh. but the one before. That's right. I'm sorry. White right. T-shirt. Just yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Which is not uncommon. 
um, right. for me to just hear a name of you know, a place and then I can automatically just connect and I don't ever, I don't know what it looks like. So um, very That's interesting. Incredible. I think the female, um, I think I just caught a glimpse of her up here. Okay. Um, is this what, the third floor? Third floor. Mm -hmm. Okay, and you're on the third floor. All right. Is that the prostitute? Yes. 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 Like an S, S like a Sadie or Sally or something. There's a strong S, S, something. S, S, strong S sound. And did you think she was killed here? Oh, I think she was strangled. Okay. Yeah, choked. Choked, yeah. My feeling was it was from a lover. From a lover. Well, is that what? A John sure, or sure. whatever. You I just want to make sure I heard yeah. you right. Somebody who, um, yeah, just got mad. And I think my feeling was killed her because um, didn't want to share her. Yeah, okay. That was my feeling. But um, not uncommon for, you know, women who, um, but yeah, she left behind a son, I think. Okay. Okay. So like I said, I think the stairs is active for sure. Now my guess is there's going to be obviously guests here. And so um, they could be bringing things too. I think the location is a draw in and of itself. I'm seeing, you know, trying to separate what's here without a guest you know might take me a little bit sure stairs i'm just telling you she likes to walk the stairs okay. and the balconies okay for sure huh okay i could have swore i saw smoke um smoke smoke <laughs> okay like it like a stream of smoke like somebody's smoking okay so maybe a cigar so it feels to me like um that this place was used for something. You're correct. I don't want to say like a meeting place or um, some specific type of activity other than prostitution. Gambling? No. Can I can I say what I think you're picking up on? <laughs> <laughs> or would that be too too no, much? No, you can yeah. Yeah. It's the original Odd Fellows Temple. It was constructed in nineteen oh nine. I don't know anything about that film. I don't know what. But that could be your meeting place that you're picking up on, because that's so yeah, close. So I know here though. Right here. They did something here. So maybe it's the odd fellows met here as well. I uh, they may have stayed here. That, that's what I was thinking. I was going to surprise you with that. They may. They, they may have stayed here. Um, the building actually has I O O on it, which is the original um, temple, and then I believed they stayed here. There was something going on. I, in, in my mind, I see a, like a room, okay. um, like like poker or some kind of gambling or something, because doors are like a, the door is being opened to let somebody in, okay. and then the door is closing. It's giving me chills. Some of these men are in uh, suits, um, business suits. Others aren't, but it feels like very. Um, secretive and um, like, I, I don't know, I keep wanting to say like secret society, kind of uh, like a meeting kind of place. Like they were doing things that were kind of unsavory, um, but yet very, the word I'm hearing is, is exclusive. So I just keep coming back to that. I mean, that sounds like an odd fellow situation. What are the odd fellows? I don't know what those are. The odd fellows are like the Freemasons. They're oh, like that the makes fraternal. perfect sense. Yeah. Makes fraternal brotherhood so secretive yeah. kind of society kind of makes sense okay yeah. so that happened definitely here okay, okay. could you also because you said dillinger is that also what you're is it tied together possibly do you think it doesn't feel like it almost feels like different time periods okay, okay. but i'm not really sure was dillinger here when you spoke i don't know for certain but i know that there are several because i'm big hearing name... john and i'm wondering if it isn't john dillinger it could have been i mean do you I, know i can look i know capone had ties to spokane so was dillinger uh, was he a mob guy yes okay so yeah. like a hitman kind of guy yeah he was he was bad yeah because i see him occasionally I, he's also wearing a hat like a um not like a cowboy hat of course but like a hat they would wear back in back in those days so for this man it feels like maybe something with the chest um like an impact or a heart attack or something i don't know i don't know how he died either but um so if he may have had heart issues too but i don't know okay uh, but so heart issues possibly maybe something in the chest 
feels impactful though. It feels like something really hard and sudden. I think that, um, I don't know if the man um, is gonna be very communicative. I definitely think that the female and the, the prostitute would be pretty communicative. Um, I think you could talk to her about her son. Okay. Um, I think that would spur some conversation. Um, I think she would be fairly talkative, actually. I'm trying to think if I pick up anything else. And there could be other things here. Um, for me, um, in general, things come to me in priority um, normally even if I'm viewing a place, um, what is either the strongest or the most active uh, spirit is usually the ones that I catch first. And so it's kind of like if I do a clearing, um, what comes to me first is like priority. So the worst or the things with the highest level of energy, their highest influence, those are the things I would clear first if I can. And then I move on okay. to you know something else. So definitely walking areas <laughs> helps me a little bit, sure. especially in such a large place. So um, I do think there may be another female over here in this area. She feels more proper. What I hear is belongs to the building. So I don't know. Female belongs to the building? Yeah, so I don't know if she has some stake in it or some or feels like she has some stake in it okay she feels upper society to me um again around the same time frame she's got her hair on top of her head um she wanted a blue dress so you're thinking 18 to 1900 yeah, time period i do okay. when, it, when, when was this built uh 1899 okay so 1800 and early 1900s would fit yeah I was picking it up at home before I got here. And then I just kind of um, gave him a little bit more information here. Um, so I don't know if I'm gonna pick up a whole lot more um, at this stage of the game. Uh, so I think I've identified four. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Four that we've got. Least, yeah. Yep, yep. The, the female that belongs to the building, the Dillinger type person, uh, the male from the 80s type period, and then the prostitute. Right. Oh. Right. The, the child. Right. Okay. Anything from this room that you pick up, though? Um, my feeling is that you are still going to... I don't pick up anybody in here right at the moment. Okay. I, I, just, I just don't. But I think that you will get activity from the female, for sure, the prostitute. Like I said, especially if you talk about her child. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Like I said, if you got, if you, the stairs, I think are very active, okay. and the um, the railings, like the um, I don't know, you, are they called catwalks? Yeah. So I think those are fairly active. Um, a word I hear is kind of bustling in their time. So I think you know some of that could be residual energy that I'm, I'm picking up as well, and not actual entity energy. It was a boy. I think he was around seven years old. Um, you got, you um, picked up on a... that. I picked up on earlier. I didn't pick up on the child. Until I just you. picked up on the prostitute, and I had told them that um, my feeling was that she was choked and um, killed. I think in the building, and she's blonde, and I kind of described what she's wearing, which is that she's wearing like white underclothes, like they used to wear, kind of the frilly garment, you know. Um, black stockings and black shoes, no glasses. She's young, 20s, maybe early 30s. And that would be pushed at like 28, maybe even 26. I mean, she's young, she's, she's pretty young. But I can see her laying on a bed and she's um, being choked and kind of like she's off to one side. So yeah, some man got her, um, killed her. I think she's around because I can hear her say something about her mother. About her mother? About her mother, yeah. So maybe her son went to stay with her mother. Okay. Feels like, like out east. So I really think that if you talk to her about her family situation, her son, how things went down, I think the man was a married man. She's telling me he was a married man. Got away with it, of course. She's saying he got away with it. I think she had a sister. She's talking about her sister and a brother. So she said something about coming out west, which I would not think of Spokane as coming out west. I always think of 
like the Oregon Trail and California. But a lot of them did go north, didn't they? They go, went up towards Oregon and Washington. Yeah. 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 I think she'll be communicative if you can get her to go for a, a little bit. I don't think the woman down the hall is going to be very communicative. You may get that Dillinger type mm -hmm. guy um, to talk. I think he roams. It's crazy that I still see a gun. Well, I'm sure there was some mob affiliation here. I mean, there there's some stories. So. Okay. I mean, the, the place was originally built. Do you want me to share, I guess? Sure. Okay. So it was built in 1899 as a single re resident occupancy hotel. There's 30 rooms on the second and the third floor to house 60 people um, during, you know, all the, the different events that took place. So it wasn't always a hotel. Right. Okay. Yeah. So was part of it a brothel where they used? There's rumors that it was a brothel okay. at one point. Okay. Um, and then in 1974 Expo, they had the youths stay here during the Expo time. And then there's been... There's a fire uh, that took place in 1949. There was a woman that I found that had a heart attack and died in bed in 49. Um, so, In 49, um, you don't know what room? No. You don't know if it's the woman that I see? No, she's, she, she, they wouldn't have been wearing those in 49. No, no, mm -hmm. so it can't be the same woman. And the names don't match no, up with what no, you gave. No, I don't, th I don't, I don't know what she, yeah, show me a picture and I could say if I pick her up, but. I don't, I, I want to say no, I don't feel her here. Yeah. I mean, I want to say she may have crossed. I don't know, I don't sure. pick her up. Now, you could maybe get people call, calling them over from across the street um, if they see what's going on or get picked that up. Somebody might come across. No, I don't think Bing Crosby is over there. I don't think he's at the Dav Davenport either. Yeah. I think Bing Crosby crossed. Sure. Yeah. And the other thing that you picked up on was a meeting or gathering place. You saw possibly I gambling. I think it was. I think it's over there. It's the Odd Fellows piece. You think? I. It could very well be. Oh. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, it, it's really odd because normally, like I like I saw like the lady in the, with the blue truss. Mm -hmm. um, I see the the prostitute in a lot of color. Mm -hmm. This is this is imagery that's coming to me almost in black and white, okay. which is really odd for me. Um, normally, I see it all in color, but it could simply be that they were in black and white or sure. dark gray and white, and that's why I'm seeing that. Um, but I think it was across across the hall okay. in, that, in that area. Okay. Yeah. And I, I think that I mean, knowing how close the odd fellows were to, I mean, like throwing a stone that close. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We're not talking blocks. I think it makes sense that they would have stayed here, would've and there could here. have been other things that took place, like gambling. Like the gambling, it feels like yeah. poker or yeah. you know, cards. Well, in prohibition time, I mean, this is yeah, the oldest standing that, hotel. Yeah, that too. Yeah. So very much, it, very secretive. Um, whatever they were doing, they literally like had to knock on that door, and they didn't open that door very much, very far, and and let that guy, the next guy. in. And so that's across the hall as far as that piece. Did you feel But like that kind of energy is residual energy on what may have gone in there. And if there was prostitution, then the guys would be going to do Fair. things like that. Yeah. Um, a very strong energy draw for um, very particular types of ghosts who would feed on that for sure. Uh, would make sense for that kid, yeah. which I said felt drug related to me. I hear on the streets though, so I don't think he died in this hotel, okay. but I do think that he comes into the hotel. It's either the area or somehow associated with this building, building or area. Charles, great information. Yes, uh, very informative and hopefully that's going to be valuable to us as we investigate tonight. I agree. And you know, she was calling out things well before she even arrived when we were talking to her about the Montvale and just what she got. She immediately picked up on the mail in the white t-shirt. Mm -hmm. She put him around the 80s. Uh, she picked up on the prostitute with a strong S name. She did also say that the ending was more of a Y name, but wasn't Sally, or excuse me, wasn't Susie so much. She thought maybe Sally. Sally or maybe a Sandy or something to that. Could very well be. Uh, time period for the, the prostitute, 1800 to 1900s. Um, she also said that the woman was strangled by what she believed to be was uh, a lover. Mm -hmm. uh, she indicated that he was married, he was never caught, um, and that she unfortunately had a, a little boy uh, who was of the age of maybe seven or eight years old with either Robert or Bobby as the name. And then who could forget? We were talking about Dillinger. This is pretty interesting, folks. Um, as she was giving her reading, she kept saying that the name Dillinger was popping up. 
whether that was actually Dillinger or just a, a character type gangster, uh, she was getting that uh, feeling that there was some uh, type of mafia activity here. It'll be very interesting to see exactly if that produces any results. So, so uh, Jane had picked up on the, the Dillinger aspect and she kept hearing John, but could have been ties to the mob itself. Um, and as Brent has just uh, confirmed, there was mob activity here. It was also a brothel. And uh, folks, just so you understand, he just got done talking to an employee that confirmed all that. So that I think that's pretty significant. Yeah, and took him to a, a secret room in the basement that... Nobody knows. Nobody knows, but my mind straight goes to prohibition time. Right. Especially when you look at it being rocks and dirt. And, yeah. I mean, it, it doesn't close take, to the tunnels. It's not that big of a stretch no. to say, yeah, that's probably at least a good guess I think. I think so yeah um so then of course uh we did catch on the second floor that she saw smoke possibly cigar cigarette um that was near room 215. she also picked up on potential gambling my mind wonders if that has direct ties to the odd fellows temple being mm -hmm. as close as it is uh later once i gave her the information she seemed to kind of acknowledge that that likely was the tie right. to it um, once she realized that it was part of the fraternal brotherhood piece. Um, and then there was the female that belongs to the building, quote unquote. So upper society, blue dress from the same time period. I, I think we have some things to go off of. Um, we know that there were a few events that took place that were not called out by Jane, which is perfectly fine. Uh, we don't expect every uh, read or walk through to produce every piece of historic evidence uh, or information, but I think people get the wrong uh, perception that a psychic should know everything, mm -hmm. and they just know they could tell you anything that you wanted to know. But I don't think it really works that way. When, as Jane explained, she has priorities that come through to her that she needs to call out or address when she does her cleansings and uh, visits locations. So it makes sense that there would be. Uh, those that are high priorities on the list, and then there's some that fall. It could also be like a vibrational thing. Some spirits are vibrating higher sure. and want to talk, and they drown out the weaker ones, maybe. Yeah. Know. I think it's really interesting with the information, though, of the prostitute. Um, what shall we call her? Sally? Sally. Sally for now, uh, until maybe we can possibly get something. Um, so it, it's kind of interesting, uh, the information that was shared by Jane. I do want to try something. I recently got myself a new application, and I think you haven't got this one, right? Oh, uh, the one, one that we've been talking about. Oh, actually, I, I just got it. You did, but I haven't really had time to work with it much. I've been reading up about it. Mm hmm. I haven't done a ton. Um, I unfortunately have had some losses in my life a um, little too close together recently and so I have been trying to do some form of communication with uh, those that I have lost and um, I've not tried very hard because it's a sensitive subject still uh, but might be might take a little while it may take a little while but what we have here is the necrometer this application is made by chill seekers it is an app that I find quite interesting because it doesn't have any words programmed into this. As I've been researching and the information, uh, information that you've shared with me, this has words, mm -hmm. uh, rather <laughs> letters. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't have words. It does not have words. This has words, no. <laughs> <laughs> it has meaning. Um, it has letters, uh, letters of the dictionary. So spirit is said to be able to uh, trigger those letters mm. and create words just like as humans we speak. Uh, the only thing that it would have is the beginnings of certain words like uh, TH or CH or ST or what have you. Um, so I'm going to turn this on. There are times that it does seem to have more gibberish. It's called the necrometer in case I failed to say that. Um, but the concept behind it is that if you connect with spirit, you'll hear words. So I want to see if we turn this on, if we can possibly communicate with. So Brie, before we start, yeah. do you, it also has a word uh, text mode. It does. So do you, have you had any chance to work with that or? I actually have played with the text mode. 
Um, after doing some research, I don't necessarily know if it is likely to give false positives as some of the videos have said on YouTube. Mm -hmm. um, I personally, and I shared this with you the other day, do you want me to talk about it? Yes. Okay. So the other day I was sharing with Charles uh, that I was playing with a necrometer and I was not verbally talking in the room. I was sitting there and um, just typing to you on the computer. As I'm typing, it starts giving words that make sense to a recent passing in my life um, of a loved one. Uh, it actually said my brother-in-law's name, which I would think is kind of strange. Mm -hmm. It then continues to say words like two spirits, hospital. And as I'm telling you my theory of what it's saying, it says, yeah. But what you don't know is that I then brought Katrina into the room, shared all of this, and as I'm verbally telling her everything and showing her everything, it says, yeah. The look on your face, if we could actually put that in audio form. <laughs> right. Uh, I turned it off and I thought, I don't know if it's false positives. It seems like it's actually detecting or saying uh -huh. something that is relevant. Um, I've, heard, I've heard a lot of good, usually, you hear about these apps, they come and go, and but I, I've heard a lot of interesting stuff about this one. This is might be something a little different. Yeah, I'm kind of interested to see if we can maybe capture anything in the audio aspect of it. Uh, so we'll see, we'll turn this on and see if it wants to cooperate with us. So that's the white noise. Did you hear a voice in the white noise? I did. I heard a female. I heard something down. Oh. So I'm going to turn the white noise off. I want to see, that's the actual speech, so the white noise is off. Is Sally here with us? That's cool. I thought that was interesting, you got a response right. Yeah. So. Did it say so? Yeah, that's what I thought it said anyway. Can you tell us who you are? I'm not, sure. I'm not sure. I heard the word cure, and I thought the last part was something disturb you. The roof. The, the roof. roof. What about the roof? A watch. Can you tell us your name, please? See, I think that's that gibberish that comes out sometimes. But we were capturing something. Yeah. The roof, cure. And I, I think that first response was an answer. I just didn't really catch it. Yeah. Pissy. I want to say that said pissy. Pissy. Did you just say pissy? Who are you? Eat your goose. Are there any gangsters here? That's my chair. That scare you? I thought it was a door open. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> quit that, Marie. <laughs> Good thing I brought an extra pants. <laughs> you are staying the night after all. So right. <laughs> I will not be. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the lady in blue? Ryu.
Who's the woman? Who's the woman that belongs to the building? Also, it was weird that it said roof and cure, and they were clear, but now we're not getting things that are so clear. Do you know is the white noise? What's the optimal? What's the optimal uh, mode? With white noise, without, or is it testing? I think it's just preference. What's your name? Sir. 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 Sister, you. Consider info call. Be honest. Be honest. Oh, maybe. Sally, did you die here? Something about at night. I want to say that first one was yes, but is your name Sally? I want to say it said yes, that's right, but I don't think so. I don't know. It's worth checking. Mm hmm Officer, you are. Sally, did you have a son? Lots of pain. Lots of pain. Lots of pain. What was your son's name? O'Keefe. O'Keefe. We kind of know how she died. Can you smart? Can you tell us how you died? We I heard the word keepsake, which seems weird to hear. Who killed you? I definitely think the necrometer needs more time to Johnson. experiment and see if we capture anything. Like, I, I think it, with use, it may get better. It's, it is a little uh, difficult starting out, but I think... Holy, please God. Holy, please God. I thought it said fully. But, I don't know. I heard God. What about God? Certain way. Certain way? I think so. Are you having troubles? Evil Christian. Evil Christian? Something Christian. Yeah. Maybe he's a Christian. Right? Oh. Was the person who killed you a Christian? Was he religious? Ever Disposal. Disposal? It's like it said it again, but I can't hear it. Right. Or flower. Something flower. I heard flower too. Okay. What was your son's name? After you were killed, where did he go? Where did he live? We're gonna switch to the Phasma box. Okay. I'll turn this off here. I think that may be a little bit easier for communication, or I hope. So we have some good information. Things that we're gonna try to draw off of here, like we were doing with the uh, necrometer and see, but this time we're gonna switch it to the Phasma box. Uh.
Anarchy by effect. Is the prostitute here with us? So in one minute. Hello? Oh. Hi. Can you tell us your name? Are you enough? said, listen, I told you, God. All those voices together. They said, God again. We're sorry now. We're sorry now? Or what? we're starting now? What are you starting? Important. Important. Yeah, they're yes. starting. Does it feel super? It, cool? it does all of a sudden. I don't know. Did the air kick on? It may have. It just feels wicked cold right here on my right side. Like right between us. I feel it. Is is there something between Charles and myself that's causing it to be cold? Probably. Yeah. Who's the prostitute that was killed? Thank you. Did that say cure? Mm-hmm. It sure did. So we got cure on the necrometer and on the phasma box. Was your name Sally? Ache. Thought he said ache. That's what I thought. Yes, sir. Sally, how did you die? Uh, are you listening? I'm listening. We're here. Can you tell us your name? Um, I am. Lewis. Sound like I said Lewis. Hey. Something today. Gone today? Yeah. What year is it? Oversee. Ill. No, thank you. No, thank you. Can anybody say what room you were in? Joy something? Yeah. What room number are we in? Trinston. 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 How many spirits are in this hotel? Are there any members of the Odd Fellows? <laughs> Do the Odd Fellows still stay here? Just for a reason. I need to say. Don't like it. Do you not like us trying to talk with you? <laughs> Charles, we're in the middle of a recording and you're texting. <laughs> <laughs> You don't want to hear what the male said. What did he say? It sounded like said, I swear I hate you. Excuse me. I don't know who he's talking to. Probably me. Probably you. Yeah. 
Uh, interesting. So, something you were coming. You remember that? You remember? That it said your memory's good. Not anymore. Right. Who haunts the Montvale Hotel? Technology? Technology. Oh, I heard that one. Does anybody want to speak with us about this technology? Or about any Or about anything? Who's the gangster out in the hall? Does that say I am? I, I want to say yes. Yeah. So it was very uh, kind of a deep, soft, like a little bit. Be a little bit quieter. What's your name? And I knew. I want to say we heard that earlier too. Annie, Anya, or something. Yeah. <laughs> Before last. Is there a secret gambling room? Something like something Lisa, maybe. Maybe. For now. For now. For now. If I wanted to gamble, where should I go? What room? It's just a memory. Did the odd fellows come here and gamble? We're coming. We're coming. Test your luck. <laughs> How many spirits are speaking with us? Did you hear that? It was like a like Charlie Yeah, a little bit. Kind of weird. It sounded like a scream. Yeah. They'll keep coming. They'll keep coming. It's important. It does much like. I want to know more about the prostitute. What happened to your son? <laughs> Sound like can't find me. What's your name? Couldn't make it out. It was I want to say criticize, but uh, yeah, I, I think that's. We have to the sexting. All right. Well, is there anything else before we turn this off? I gave Charles a dare for his overnight to do the Bloody Mary in the mirror, should he? Mm -hmm. 
I don't know what it said, but I wouldn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. Jane maybe. said don't do it too, so. Fun. Fun. Do you think it would be fun if Charles did it? Fascinating. Fascinating. Is it fascinating? Yeah. Well, we'll see. All right. Well, we'll turn this off now. Where's the... Thank you. Yes, thank you. Not worthy. <laughs> Not worthy. That's what it said at the end. <laughs> it was very interesting, the Montvale Hotel. Yeah, it's a fascinating place, and it just amazes me. You don't hear a lot of it until you start digging in a little bit, and it's just an incredible place. And I encourage everybody to come and stay here and investigate, and it's just a wonderful place. Well, it's it's beautiful too the way that they've modernized it and it's uh, you know, not you wouldn't know how old this building is to be honest with you. Right. That it's over a hundred years old. Not looking at the outside or being on the inside. It's really cool. All right. Well, Bree, thanks for having me. Well, Charles, it's good to see you again. I'm glad you stopped by. We need to do this again. We, yes. We've got a few things that we're working on. We'll be working with Jane and uh, Stacy from Ghost 411. So stay tuned. We've got some good stuff cooking. Yeah, we do. So uh, on to the next. Thanks for listening to this episode of Boo Crew Case Files. See you all later.